Hello, County Commissioners in Kenya. How does it look when they do what they have been employed to do? So the County Commissioners are part of the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of the national government, uh, whose vision is a secure, cohesive and crime-free society. And their mission is to create an enabling environment for Kenya's growth and prosperity through provision of security and safety to people and property, maintain a credible national population registration system, promotion of national cohesion, facilitate administration of justice, provision of correctional services and coordination of national government functions. Functions of county commissioners. The officers shall perform functions at the county level that include coordinate security management, coordinate national government functions and delivery of services, facilitate conflict management and peace building, mobilize national government agencies for national events and programs, collaborate with the Kenyan citizens and foreign national management service in the identification of persons for registration, promote and enhance national cohesion and integration to foster unity of the nation. They will coordinate the dissemination and implementation of national government policies and programs. They'll manage and maintain administrative boundaries, security roads, and airstrips. They will provide liaison collaboration and partnership between the national government and the county government. They'll coordinate disaster management and emergency response. They will facilitate participation of the people in national government policy formulation and articulation. They will facilitate alternative dispute resolution initiatives and perform any other lawful function assigned by the national government and any other legislation. As an immediate task, the county commissioners will work closely with the transitional authority to register and compile a comprehensive portfolio of all government assets in the counties, including land and buildings, equipment, vehicles, staff, documents, and all other public resources. This will include assets under local authorities. Guided by Schedule 4 of the Constitution, the county commissioners in liaison with the transitional authority will compile register of assets to be under the central government, register of assets to be under the county governments and to be handed over to the governors soon after the general elections. The commissioners will facilitate the transitional authority in the identification, location and differentiation of the offices of the county government and offices of the central government from the existing portfolio without prejudice to commence compilation of draft county strategic plans and other development plans under the general guidance of government institutions, ministries, departments, and the Kenya School of Government. County commissioners will also facilitate the ongoing civic education on, among others, the constitution, devolved government, and also seek public input into draft county strategic plans and development plans. The draft plans will be finalized after the central and county governments are in place after the general elections. So these senior deputy county commissioners and their duties and responsibilities are that an officer at this level will be deployed to head a sub-county with highly complex development activities and diverse social, economic, and political background. The officer will be responsible for the efficient management and coordination of government functions in the sub-county where work will involve general administration and coordination of development activities such as leading disaster management and emergency response activities, mobilizing resources for development, promoting peace and security, promoting conflict resolution and peace building, interpreting, disseminating and overseeing implementation of government policies, 
responding to parliamentary business specific to the sub county and implementing national policies and giving feedback to the government on policies for review. Is the deputy secretary. So the duties and responsibilities are that an officer at this level will be employed at the ministry headquarters where he or she will shoulder higher responsibilities which will entail heading a special unit. So the specific duties and responsibilities include overseeing implementation of government policies, preparing ministerial briefs, speeches, policy memoranda and concept papers, coordinating administrative matters, training, development, deployment and promotion of administrative staff, coordinating performance appraisal for administrative staff in the ministry, coordinating activities to mitigate HIV AIDS, promotion of integrity and ethical conduct within the ministry and overseeing management of security of government assets and coordination of various meetings. So there is Deputy County Commissioner whose duties and responsibilities are handling complex administrative, social, economic and political issues, managing and coordination of national government functions activities, coordinating disaster management and emergency response activities, and coordinating implementation of decision of security and intelligence committees. Also facilitating citizen implementation in the development and implementation of government policies, programs and projects, coordinating campaigns against drugs, alcohol and substance abuse, overseeing implementation of national government development projects, initiating peace building initiatives, ensuring security of government property, assets, facilities and inventory. An officer at this level will be deployed to head a sub-county with complex development activities and diverse social, economic and political background. Specific duties and responsibility include being responsible for the efficient management and coordination of government functions in the sub-county, general administration and coordination of development activities such as mobilization of resources for development, coordinating disaster management and emergency response activities, promoting conflict resolution and peace building, interpreting, disseminating and overseeing implementation of government policies, responding to parliamentary business specific to the sub-county and coordinating state functions in the sub-county. There are assistant county commissioners or assistant secretaries and their specific duties and responsibilities will include field administration services, overseeing the implementation of national government development projects in the area of jurisdiction, carrying out general administrative duties, coordinating disaster management, coordinating the maintenance of law and order, initiating peace building initiatives, identifying persons for national and civil registration. They also coordinate campaigns against drugs, alcohol and substance abuse, ensuring security of government property, assets, facilities and in inventory, general office administration, assisting in handling general public complaints, compiling returns, daily operational and incident reports, collecting and collating data for preparation of speech briefs and report writing and updating biodata of administrative officers. There you have it. Those are county commissioners in Kenya. How does it look when they do what they have been employed to do? Thanks for watching. Bye.